Hello, databases module B, homework number two, and it should be the same one we just completed for homework one. Uh, I'm going to open the English only, and there's th only three records. And if someone wanted, um, so this was originally the course query that had nine, and then we got a request that we wanted just English only courses, so that's what we have here. And if we remember in design view for the criteria for the department code, we wanted just English. So if you wanted to um, submit this or print it out, um, it kind of looks like just a plain old um, Excel spreadsheet. Um, you could widen the columns a little bit, but still it's, uh, it's not official. So what we want to do is create a report. So I'm going to close out of here. I made changes, so I'm going to say yes. And close out of courses query. I'm just going to click English only once so that when I go to create and select report, it's going to create a report based on the one that I have selected. And there it is. Now we need to make some adjustments, a little more official looking rather than the just the query spreadsheet. Uh, but you have this divided line here, so what will happen is this will print on one page and then the second half will print on the a second page. So what we want to do is we really don't need department code and course number to be so wide. So the first thing you need to do is change the view to layout view. And once a, whatever section you want to have, make sure it's in yellow. And then you hover to the boundaries when you get the double arrows. And then you can just reduce the size. So I'll do the same thing for course number. And wait till you get the double arrows, reduce the size. I'll keep course name fine and credit hours department name I want to reduce the size of it and then the same thing with chair and I just want to get on the other side of that um, dashed line do the same thing for the name page one of one and just move it with the four arrows so you can move the whole oops, move the whole thing over and I'm going to put mine right in the middle so it's page one of one and the three credits you can't see it all so I'm just going to make it a little bit wider um, now, uh, if you want, um, or go up, double click into the heading, and I'm going to spacebar and type by and type your first name and your last name. And then I'll just click away from it. Has a date and time. And if you are doing this with any other uh, software application, Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, you could match the themes. So you can go into themes, and that's under report design. And you can, as you hover over, you see the different font types and coloring, and this would match whatever theme you used in another application. And once you have that, I'm going to click Exit, and it's going to ask me to save. And I'm actually going to keep it the same name. Even though I have it under Queries, it'll be under a whole new category called Reports, and it'll be the same name. That's fine. And there it is. So this was the query version, if you were to print out, but this is how it appears as a report. That's more official looking. So I'll close out of both of these, save and submit this as homework assignment number two. And we're going to need it one more time for homework number three. Make sure when you do submit that you are not submitting anything that has a, um, an access file that has a lock on it because I'm unable to open those. The lock means that the file is still active, still open. So give me the, the file that does not have a lock on the icon. Thank you.